Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would share with you today um, what I've bought this week. I say this week, yesterday and today. So yesterday I popped very quickly to my local space NK, which is in the city on um, Cheapside. And that's what I've been looking at online and I had, I think I've mentioned before about their rewards program and how good that is and I had basically £10 to spend that was due to expire on the 25th so I was like right it's getting a few days before then I'm going to lose £10 and get something that I've had my eye on which is this and I don't know if you know about this or not but this is the Becca palette I got the light to medium and I'll just take a bit of what I'm doing then I'll show you the, the colours but it's really pretty so it comes with four sections. The first one is to, it's very faint on here, but the first one is a brightening powder, and that is to, you're supposed to use this all over your face to brighten and boost radiance, so it's really faint. Then number two is again a bigger square, and I'll show you that in a second, and that is to a blur powder. Again, you use this all over your face, and this is to blur imperfections and even the complexion. Then we have a blush to use on cheekbones, who'd have thought, um, to add a pop of colour and light. You know, it says colour and light, you'll see in a second I'll show you the, 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 what that looks like. And then number four is basically a contouring powder to sculpt and define features. I also have used the brightening powder one as a bit of a highlighter. Now I've got it on today, but I mean this is like day old makeup. Um, but I'll show you what they look like because I think it's really pretty and also, it's not that easy to open, but also the mirror is really nice as well. It's slightly blurred actually, which is quite nice and then you look, use normal and you go, ooh, well I do. Um, but anyway, I'll try and show you without blinding you. So, you can see here, you've got um, all over to brighten, all over to blur. This blush... So if you can see there all the colours, it's really nice, and it's not that bright on, it's a really nice pink, and then that there is the contour powder. So it's quite a big bulky palette, um, this was £35 and I paid £25 because I had that £10 voucher, but I have to say really really nice texture, let's spit it out, really nice texture powder feels quite finely milled but also feels quite creamy without making me too shiny and that's something I have to be careful of um, but like I said when you apply it it I actually did feel slightly photoshopped um, ooh, it's giving me a nice golden glow um, so yeah really like that and recommend that so I got that yesterday that's that and today I went to Harrods with mummy um, so basically we were going to Harrods, what was the Georgian restaurant and is now called the Harrods Tea Rooms up on the fourth floor for an afternoon tea. Um, highly recommend it. It's not that cheap. It's £55 per person without champagne. So that's for tea, sandwiches, scones, cream, jam um, and cakes afterwards. But, you know, the tea is free-flowing. I had two great big pots. You know, we got extra jam and cream and then because we got extra jam and cream they gave us extra scones and um, you can have more sandwiches if you want so it's actually it's actually quite good value um, it's a really nice atmosphere really nice service that so all the staff are really really friendly whilst also being attentive so that was great and yeah great time so whilst we were in Harris before we had that because that wasn't to hop us two and we got the about 11 so we had some time to kill and there were a few errands that I needed to run you know going to the cobblers and I'm getting my luggage tag from my graceful PM um, hot stamped. So we did that, so a few other bits. Anyway, then I bought a couple of bits which I thought I'd show you. So, I'll start with the small one. And these are not all exciting. But there's some, there's, there's a little bit of jaw, no, we had a great time in jaw. So, firstly, I need some new slippers because one, my Ugg slip-on flip-flop style they were never great and they wore after like one wear and I'm not that heavy footed. Then they also got puppied so they went in the bin. So I wanted some summery slippers so I got these from the White Company. Now I know the White Company's got a sale on at the moment. These were not in the sale. So they're a grey satin 
and then like a off grey, slightly pinky, faux fur, fluffy bit. But they're nice and comfy and these were £30. Now when I looked up on the website, according to that, I'm a UK size 5 so I should have been a size medium in their slippers, again, yeah, small, medium, large. Um, but I actually got the small. It was borderline but there was actually too much, about that much of a gap at the back of my heel on the medium and I thought I'm just going to trip over myself. So these were just big enough so I went for small. So that's those. It's not, not that exciting. Um, and then also when I got those we walked past through the um, tap bathroom bit with the towels and what I couldn't find online, I knew that I'd, when I was sent the pre-sale booklet I saw some towels in there and I think it was dove grey, I think the colour was and I've got some Harrods towels that I got the year before and they are such good quality really really nice, fluffy, last and I wanted to, I thought, oh great, I'll get those when the, when the sale starts the sale started, I went online couldn't find them for love nor money online at all Yes, I found other towels, but I didn't find the Harrods ones I wanted that were in the sales. About one range in the sale, and that was it online. It was rubbish. Anyway, I went into the store, and they had them half price in the sale. So, ooh, there we go. I'm all for a bargain these. I won't show you all of these. I basically got two flannels, two hand towels, and two bath sheets, one for my husband and I each. And this is the colour. So this is just the flannel, but yeah, so half price was five ninety five. Now two ninety five. So it's just Howards of London. I think it's exactly the same range as the ones I've already got. It's just a slightly different colour. Like I say, this is I think it's dove grey. Yes, this is dove grey. So yeah, the hydro cotton ones. So yeah, really nice. Feelings. I'm very happy with those, so I thought I would share that with you. They had other colours as well, they do them in like a pink and a off-white and a navy I think. And yeah, but this is what I wanted because it would go with my bathroom. That was that. I won't like that. I got ugh, big bag of towels that's quite heavy to walk back with. But that was that. Why did you keep doing that? Thank you. Pop to Louis Vuitton. So I have pretty much completely run out of perfume and I went to Louis Vuitton so I thought I'd unbox it with you and show you what I got. They've changed their receipts in Louis Vuitton now. They used to be um, sort of so big and inside you'd get a completely like really nice thick um, cream thick A4 size paper. Now you just get a little thing with the Harrods receipt in. Sales associate was like, oh, it's not great. And I was like, well, you know what? I don't really care. It just goes in the drawer. It's what I need. It's not like, you know, you're ever going to be selling on perfume anyway. But anyway. So that was in the box, uh, in the bag, sorry. And then within the bag, they put another bag. So I'm guessing they're just trying to keep it all nice for me. So I will unbox this with you and then I can wear it. I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm out of perfume, pretty much. Tiny bit of Prada left, but you know when you go off with perfume and you fancy something new, and I fancy something new for the summer. Um, tried the new Tom Ford one, um, effing fabulous, and not so much. I have to say, it it was okay, but you know when you spray something on and then you sniff it and you want to keep smelling it, but you can't. For me, I found it just didn't last more than about ten seconds, so I wasn't that happy. What I've got in here. Um, over afternoon tea I just kept smelling it on my wrist, kept smelling it, kept smelling it and um, went back basically after I'd stuffed myself with a cake and sandwiches and got it. So, open this and there it is and that's slightly sticky as well. Take it out. So I got their newest fragrance which is, I really recommend this, which is, I'm not going to say this wrong, I know I am, Le Jour Celeb. If you can see it though, it's slightly. Anyway, let's get the cellophane off. Also, it was really, really nice, and this was actually not because I bought it, this was before I bought the perfume, when I was just looking at it before we went to afternoon tea. They gave me a couple of little samples of it, so that was really nice. I know Bestie Lorna was after one, so when I see her next week, I will give her that. 
Now, I've said it on YouTube now, it has to happen, I have to give it away. Um, and I'll keep the other one actually just for if I'm travelling. I have got a travel over, but if I'm just doing one night away, that's quite handy. Right, so, cellophane off. Comes in a box like this. So this is 100ml, so I'll tell you about the prices as well, but I'm going to show you the details first. Then I will... Oh, this is nice! It comes in this packaging. So I didn't realise it came in this, because when you see them on display, they're just the bottles. Right, careful not to drop, because they are glass bottles. So there it is. That is so nice. And you can see there, well, hopefully it says it's quite faint. Le jour se, Le jour se lève. Obviously you can tell me. I knew GCSE French for about a week when I had the exam. Right, so take it off and there it is. And yes, this is it. The salesperson that, that, that served me was lovely. She really was nice. And she was saying to me that this mimics the first, the shape of the bottle, mimics the shape of the bottle when they first started making perfumes. And she was talking about scooping stuff up from the sea. Anyway. It's, it's, it mimics some historical shape of bottle. But it's really, I think it's really nice because it's just really simple and classy. And this is, it's exciting to me. The lid is magnetic. So there you've got the... Oh, it's so nice. And I'll tell you what's in it as well. So you've got that and then this is magnetic. Look. Love that. So the other thing is, so this was £185 for 100 millilitres. They also do it in sizes of 200 millilitres. I'm not sure how much that is, but you can look it up online. I'll, I'll put a link in the description box, box below to it anyway. And then they do other fragrances as well, but I honestly, in, in my opinion, this is the best one and it's their new one. And um, it smells lovely. Um, one, the other thing as well is that they will do with the bottle is you can get it engraved for free in either um, clear or in like a slight gold colour, which I'm going to do with my initials. I'm going to do that when the bottle's empty. That may sound strange. Um, and the reason I'm going to do it when it's empty is because, well, then I can't risk any of the lovely smelling perfume being um, spilt or lost or, or anything. But also with this, whilst 185-100ml is quite expensive, it's not... Bit around the bush. Um, they actually do refills. No, not free refills, but to get it then refilled is a hundred and ten pounds. And so I thought that's not bad. So I will do that, and at that point I'll get it in, engraved as well. So that was what I got there, and I will tell you what. To... Hang on, let's pop this down. I can't... Right, if it's on the floor. Whoa! Why are you doing that? If it's on the floor, I can't drop it. So I'll just tell you about the notes in that in case anybody is interested. So it has in it Mandarin from Italy, Blackcurrant Accord, Sandback Jasmine, Incense and Musk Accords. And I don't normally like incense. Um, Tom Ford, White Patchouli. Hated it. And I think because of the incense. And I like Tom Ford. I just don't like that one. Um, Peony Accord, Osmanthus. Um, so yeah, they also do it in a... As I said, the 200ml and also also a travel range. Um, I'll tell you now, actually, the two oh, the 200ml is showing us out of stock online. So I don't think I can tell you how much it is. Um, obviously more than 185 The travel range, I think, is good, but I don't think it's worth the money because you don't get... It's the same price, I believe, but you don't get as much in fluid ounces. And I'd rather buy a little travel -o thing um, for, like, £12 or whatever and fill it up. So that's that. So then the final thing, yes, final thing that I got. See, I was good. My favourite shop in the world, and I was good. Brings me on to, ta-da, this beauty. So this is a little jewel purchase, and not the one I was originally going to go for. Um, but they're really good. You can try stuff on in jewel, and um, very good. So there's the receipt, and I have to say, well, not only was the guy quite dishy, but um, really, really good service. N always endure. I find, and this is any jewel that I've been in, you know, um, Sloan Street, any of the ones in, in Harrods, um, just really good customer service and really friendly. And even if you're not saying you're going to buy something that day, you're just saying, you know what, I'm just looking, I'm thinking about this, 
they still want to help you and show you and I think they just see the potential and future sales so they're great so anyway I got myself a nail box nail box this is my first this is my apart from makeup this is my first ever jewel purchase how exciting and again everyone says this but love the jewel packaging it's just such lovely quality you can see it on that box there you've got almost like a a pebbled effect is that kind of, yeah see slightly pebbled so anyway let's undo the bow oh we'll be focusing on what goes on what is going on with the camera today undo the bow finish i'm doing my best to show you honestly i am All right and then I'm where it's going to drop. And do the lid. What's that? So I don't know what's going to come underneath. I haven't seen. And we have a little dust bag. So we'll remove that. This is also exciting. So cute. We have another bow. This is like a two tone dust bag as well. Really cute. So we'll undo the other bow which is attached. So that's nice. Quite make quite a nice little travel pouch. So it says jewel on the front. Open that, and then I've got just a bit of a little booklet. What's this? And by the way, earrings are non-returnable -return from Jewel and Harrods, which you would expect. Oh, it's just the care instructions. Fine. Right, they're just loose. Go with me. Ooh. So these are, I believe these are new season. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below. And I'll also put a link to the ones that I went there for that I'd already um, reserved. And actually changed my mind when I got there. And I'll tell you why. So, here they are. Oh, you're going to be able to see. So these are, I see a little heart. And then a drop down. And then on this one, you've got a star. I really want to show you and it won't focus. Right, so on this one, you can see there you've got a star and then a ball. And they basically go through your ear here and then they hang down. So, yeah, really pretty on. I'll try and show you against... So I should have maybe put them on. But... So you can see there the size comparison. So there's my lovely Chanel's that I got in Paris, which I had two compliments on by the way today in, Har in Harris. How nice was that? Um, one of which was by someone in Jewel, I believe. Right, so you can see there what they look like. Now I was originally going to go for the more traditional tribals, which had the same thing, a heart and a star on each bit there. Um, similar size, maybe a little bit bigger than these bits. And then they had a larger ball that went behind in the traditional way. But the only problem I had with them was when I put them on, I don't know if I've got weird earlobes or if they, apparently they do this on a lot of people, is that with the weight of the ball, it actually meant that my earlobe went slightly like that. And I just found that a little weird. Um, now the guy in the shop said that that was completely normal and he's like, you know, I'm, I'm just so used to seeing that. Um, but I'm not and um, I find it a little strange. So that's the other thing is they let you try them on. So what they do is in the tray that they've got that's got the display ones, they actually will get um, a cloth out to, you know, make sure they're clean and safe. And you can actually try them on properly. And that's really nice. And obviously when you buy them, you buy a brand new pair. So I thought that was really good. And I was actively encouraged within Dior to actually do that. So that was really nice. And I had a lovely experience. And I wish I had more money and I would have bought lots more in there. Uh, oh, also, I don't know if I should tell you this or not, I tried on a boy bag in Chanel. I'm in love. But I can't afford it, so I can't have it. And let's just hope by the time I can afford it, they still exist. They probably won't. And I'll be searching second-hand markets. Anyway, that was all I had to show you. I've rambled on for 20 minutes now, and I thought it'd be about 10. So I'm going to go show my husband, now that I've shown you, I can show my husband what I bought. Um, and yeah, so that's it for me. I've got something exciting coming tomorrow. 
he doesn't know. I've got something exciting coming tomorrow that I ordered in the sale and there's a bit of a story. If and when it arrives tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday, Monday. If and when it arrives on Monday, I will share that with you as well and I'll give you a little bit of a background. But the key message of that is if you want something and you, that you've seen, don't give up. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon hopefully. Bye.